Welcome to Modern Horizon, ladies and gentlemen. The update is here, and the first card to be unlocked. I finally unlocked it. So, here's the four dark holes. The Mustang is finally here. We managed to get it. All you have to do is get 40 points in the summer season, and the Mustang will be yours. So, today we're gonna jump into Horizon and check out how this car is, how to drive, how it is to drive in Forza Horizon 5, and everything so yeah ladies. so here's our mustang dark horse bone stock it has 500 horsepower and 507 newton meters of torque and it weighs 1.791 kg and we have a 5 liter v8 monster engine okay we can't see the car because it's night and it's doing it in the dark horse it's very dark let's hear the sound of the car Ooh, that sounds like a soft limiter Oh, okay, it comes out around 5000 RPM. Okay, this is just pretty Okay, it is loud, it is a loud V8. That's what I'm talking about. Not the other sounds of the car in Forza Horizon 5. This sounds like a proper V8. Okay, there are some V8s which sound cool, but many cars don't sound that cool. Ooh. Okay, let's go to do a race in this car bone stock. I wanna see how it can do in a race bone stock. So here's the race I always do. This is the car people wanted when the Ford GT, the regular GT was added to Horizon. People wanted this car, not that car. So here we go, we finally have the car and we're gonna try it in Forza Horizon 5 and see if it's cool to drive. Okay, there's a great launch. Even the other Mustang. Okay, it's catching up. Oh, look at that. Is it all wheel drive? Okay, it is catching up, but it's struggling a little bit. Our first car now. We gotta spin out and do the Mustang thing. Okay. It did that turn very well. Didn't spin out. Okay, now the Mustang thing is happening. Okay. Okay, maybe because they were pushing me. I don't know. We'll see when we reach another car and see if it will do the Mustang thing. Oh, it will just keep on going on a straight line okay here's another corner okay what's happening to the car what was happening oh that was the final gear the sixth gear why did it act like that like why did it take too long to reach the red line what was happening right there okay so far so good we haven't done the mustang thing and we're at p4 i could be happy if we can reach p3 or p2 that's what i want okay i'm catching up and i'm doing the mustang thing but it's not that bad and p3 here we go i think we could reach p2 right here okay don't do the mustang thing and we managed to beat the dodge challenger here we go no don't do the mustang thing okay it's not that bad it's probably wants to drift around the corners but keep it, it is stable it's not that bad so this car has the handling package on it like if you had to if you buy one in real life there's a package you can add on this car which is a handling package so this one has it maybe that's why it's not doing the mustang thing i think that's probably it <laughs> if it wasn't for that thing maybe the car would have been struggling around the corners and we would break traction i don't know maybe it's because of the handling package and okay look at the gap we're gapping them and i got distracted and hit the wall okay here's the finish line and across the line Woo! that was one hell of a race now i want to see its quarter mile drag time if it is a second it is tense if it, it is a 10 second car or it is that slow in Forza Horizon 5. Let's check out its quarter mile time while bone stock. I don't care if this car doesn't have the GTD body kit in this game. Look at that. That I think it's perfect this way. The Ford, the regular GT definitely needs 
the GTD because at the front, oh, this one looks cool. It kind of reminds me of the GT500 Shelby, the old one. Oh, so the wheels are carbon fiber. Okay, here is our drag time. Let's go. Let's see if it is fair. Okay, slow of the line. That launch was poor because it's a rear wheel drive. I think, and we got 10 seconds, 11 seconds. 12 seconds 12, 12.8 nah according to forza horizon 5 that is slow that is slow as hell okay now that we tested the carbon stock now i'm gonna do some upgrades and see and i'm gonna put the difficulty on pro last time i forgot on the last race i forgot to put the difficulty on pro so next time okay now that i say that i don't care about the gtd body kit i want to check if there is the gtd or there isn't okay i don't think there is yep the forza arrow and we got some apr performance wing whoa i think the gt the the, the other mustang has this wing no way that's probably bigger than the okay maybe maybe they are, they are the same size as the 911 gt3 rs wing i don't know and this one this wing reminds me of the gt500 shelby wing they look very similar look at that now this is a gt3500 <laughs> not the gt500 i mean gt500 look at that okay now we know how the gt500 of this mustang is gonna look like but that's basically it maybe it will change in the front i don't know so we can go wingless if you want to hit the drag strip okay let's keep on the the stock wing and we're gonna do some upgrades look at the brakes we're gonna upgrade the brake give it race brakes and race suspension and some weight reduction and remove that 357 kg that's a lot of weight to remove on the car and let's check out the engine swaps we have in this game okay a v8 diesel a 5.2 liter v8 okay and the 8.4 liter v10 that's the dodge viper engine and and a 7.7 .7 liter v12 and another v8 i think i'm gonna keep okay 1000 horsepower look at that which one sounds better okay let me put on the 1000 horsepower and keep me and we can put on i want the supercharger let's create our own gt500 of this generation okay you can hear the supercharger a little bit but it's not that loud okay now we have one point one point six horsepower okay that's a lot of horsepower i think we're gonna need the all-wheel drive system on this car okay that's ruining our speed look at our speed is on 10 out of 10 okay let's see how it is to drive with rear wheel drive so we can increase the supercharge yeah okay let's take that one and i'm gonna put on some race tires okay say my slick race tires that's probably gonna help us and we're gonna increase the width of the tires for more traction and so that we don't spin out because 1000 horsepower we're definitely gonna need all the stability we can get okay i like the wheels the dog wheels so we're not gonna change those ones so yeah that's basically it s1 class 1.8 horsepower almost 2000 horsepower okay that's more than the regular mustang with upgrades okay let's do the same race again and put it on row well, here's the start of the race we're gonna put the difficulty on pro let's see if we can win against the ai okay here we go i'm i'm nervous about this one a rear wheel car drive with almost 2000 horsepower yes okay all of them are gone okay only one and he wants to pass me <laughs> No, 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 what happened? What did I do? The car just went mayhem. Okay, what are they doing? Okay, I think it's uncontrollable. Okay, now he's doing the Mustang thing and the dodge is disturbing. Move out. Okay, the AI is long gone and the guy is okay i cannot control this car look at that look at that now nah, there's no way i can continue this way we definitely need all-wheel drive and the big rear wing and the forza aero in the front that way i think we can control the car okay look okay i'm crawling back me okay we need the 
rear wing the big rear wing and the forza arrow that doesn't look too bad and that's it what's left it's all-wheel drive conversion okay launch and acceleration handling okay let's see if it will be better now now that we have okay let me check out the tires should i put on some semi slick tires or the slick tires and i forgot to check the colors of the car now let's check out the factory colors oh we have many colors oh look at the red this one looks cool and we got a blue and another blue and another blue black another grape grayish black and this one and the white one okay the red one looks more okay the blue one looks way better than the other colors oh i didn't see on top of the car look at that okay now they are pulling me. look at the color scheme now this is a good color okay so my game crashed when i was about to install the transmission of i was changing up the transmission of the car and the game died on me now okay now i did some upgrades i gave it all-wheel drive and some anti-roll bars for the handling and everything when i removed the rear the all-wheel drive and put on the rear wheel drive it still doesn't go on a straight line it just goes all over the place so here's our race what i was about to do okay now i've changed the all-wheel drive as you can see now it's all-wheel drive same horsepower same engine and a bigger wing okay take two here's take two and i've installed a roll cage on the car because it says it will corner very well okay our gears top out very fast no. okay but we, might, we are going so fast Fast on the pro difficulty no way p2 already i hope there's not a lot of straight lines look at that okay straight lines are the worst enemy oh look at that they are coming they are coming okay don't shoot okay okay that was bad okay now the viper i don't think we're gonna catch it if Okay, I must not give it too much distance between us because I won't be able to catch up because my gears need tuning. Okay, look at that. They go way too fast. Okay, I must focus, 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 focus. Oh, the Viper is gonna pass. I'm hitting everything because I'm not concentrating. At least now I can turn very well. It's not like how it used to be i knew it giving 2000 horsepower to a real wheel drive car is not a good idea okay our gears are bad this is bad 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 i hope there's not a lot of straight lines okay there are a lot of straight lines okay but oh no way they are coming okay they are coming whenever we are on a straight line they seem to be catching up very very fast okay and the finish line is a long straight line look at that okay they are coming and across the line i was lucky that was pure luck